Okay, so I got a teensy bit of extra time today, so uh, I guess I blew it on the Vita Challenge because I had too many interlopers and all that. And anyway, I, I'm getting back on the pyro moron now. It's just, uh, um, uh, anyway, I wanted to have the uh, pyro moron in the, uh, this uh, bit called Candlelight Supper. And, uh, again, like the other bit with the pyro moron, it was going to be a silent piece. It's uh, a guy uh, uh, having dinner with the, uh, his, his girlfriend. And uh, it's um, a guy sitting in his apartment. And uh, it's the same character from before. And he's uh, uh, having... He's, he's making dinner say meatloaf or something you know something simple but we've got this romantic music playing in the background you know on a piano uh, I came up with the idea back in the 90s back when the, uh, the, they were saying these teach yourself how to play piano on the radio things going on and uh um, uh, anyway, back to the pyro moron. Uh, anyway, there's candles on the table and some flowers, and this guy's prancing around the room like he's happy, only he's limping, and you eventually see why it's because uh, uh, get a camera angle, he's uh, got a band aid on his foot. So he can't really prance all that well. He, he's kind of got a limp. And, uh... He's making dinner for his girlfriend who's not moving. You just see her sitting there staring at him. And he, he, he puts this uh, pot roast or chuck roast or meatloaf or whatever it is down on the table and, uh... Uh, you eventually see it's actually an inflatable woman sitting at the table. And, uh, he start, uh, you know, he, he tries to be romantic with the inflatable woman, you know, he, he caresses her face, and, uh, at, at some point is, uh, oh, hi. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, just trying to do my vlog thing. Oh, yeah? yeah. vlogging it? Yeah, bad idea. What's up, everybody? This is Doug. No, I'm I'm Frank. I'm Frank. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, uh, trying to trying to uh, make a. Hit, uh, turns out turns out um. Uh, he's trying to be real romantic with the uh, inflatable woman. And at some point, he, uh, tries to, uh, I, I guess, take, take his shoe and caress her foot. And at that point, he accidentally knocks her over and she falls over onto the table. And, uh, he panics and he pick, picks her back up, sets her back up in her chair just right. But he doesn't notice that he accidentally knocked over one of the candles and uh, the inflatable woman's hair caught fire. Now, at that point, his real girlfriend shows up outside with her partner, who happens to be a man. You know, she shows up, and she happens to be a cop with her partner. And uh, uh, she... Uh, Uh, was she shows up and uh, uh, yeah she, she, she's got a post-it note she wants to leave on her on his front door she says dear pyro I'm sorry I shot you please call me and she's about to leave it on his front door and it, at this point the pyromoron is uh, 
cutting off a piece of the meatloaf, about to leave it on the front door of his uh, uh, on the inflatable woman's plate. And he looks over and notices that her that the inflatable woman's head is on fire. And at this point, he freaks out. He grabs a vacuum cleaner bag and a whisk broom. He puts it over her head and he starts beating her head over the broom. And when his real girlfriend, who is a cop, shows up, she, they hear they hear the ruckus going on inside. And so they walk around. They peek in one of the windows and they see him. Uh, what they assume is a real woman, him beating this woman over the head with, with a whisk broom with a bag over her head. And so she's still got the key to his place, you know, she, she, they run around to the front door, open up the, the door to the apartment, and they rush in with their guns, and all of a sudden he freezes, he drops the whisk broom, but he's still got the, the inflatable woman in his hand who suddenly deflates. And his girlfriend faints, and, and uh, uh, they, his uh, girlfriend's partner, male cop, is standing there staring, and that's pretty much the end of the story. The camera zooms in on, on one of the candles, and that's pretty much the end of the story. And that's pretty much my idea for the pyro moron in Candlelight Supper. And uh, anyway... I'm absolutely Al, and peace out.